Ruprecht loves the water. Wherever I go, Ruprecht goes too. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Jerk here on the big show stage, and I stand before you here today to say we got him. That's right, the exclusive first interview on the day of their debut, though I understand this is airing tomorrow. No, that's fine. We got to give the team time to do all those Emmy-nominated things that they do, whereas I just have to stand here looking pretty and reading cue cards. Who wrote this crap? Well, without further ado, let's introduce the Tech Tree Tier 8 German Battle Cruiser. Well, he's in his room even as we speak. Would you like to meet him right now? Well, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should warn you that Ruprecht is, well, uh, special. Yes, Ruprecht is special. It is a comparatively lightly armored battle boat, but heavily armed lean mean machine. Gone is the five head of the Zeton, and in its place, more torpedoes, more secondaries, and another turret, all at the cost of, well, you can see our concealment is about 800 meters worse than it was on Zeton, which means it's going to take a bit longer for these secondaries to engage after being spotted and give your foes more time to turn and run unless you can make them run to you. Are you foreshadowing again, jerk? But to wrangle all of this, you're going to need a commander and modules, so let's put them up on the big screen. Mother? No, this isn't your mother. That mother? That's right, a full secondary build. And much like the Zeton, you're going to have all sorts of interesting ways to build this ship, whether that's Megatron, Ciliax, Tesla, Hyde. Lots of ways to customize it to how you want to play, unlike my division mate, who decided to head back to port just two and a half minutes into this match. As you no doubt know, this line of ships do have a limited number of damage controls, and while I know Ouija was saying they're looking to tweak commanders to allow us expanding upon that number, honestly, it hasn't really been an issue for me. The name of the game with this line is Close Quarters. You've got Hydro and Secondaries to deal with Destroyers, you've got Torps and 406mm guns to deal with Battleships and Cruisers, and to deal with Carriers... Uh, just dodge? <laughs> Joking aside, they are not armed with great AA, so if a carrier has decided tag, you're it, you're probably going to want to stay close to an AA bubble. But if you're left relatively alone, like I am here, well then you can take some very aggressive positioning. I think I've talked about it before on this map, but it's been a minute so we can do it again. Since we could tell that the red team was giving up the center of the map, and since it looks like my team is moving over to the seaside, I wanted to enter the center of the map and pretty much deny the red team over here of being able to do what they want to do. I have been spotted. They know there is a torpedo threat. They know there is a battleship here that now has their broadside, and now they simply cannot move forward, and that's fine. And what I mean is that Iowa that was looking to blow through here now must turn out because I would have their broadside, which is going to make them turn broadside to my team. Crossfires, it's not just for dinner, it's how you win matches. Likewise, this Kronstadt has no exit but to reverse. The Turpets can no longer brawl my team like they were looking to. There is also a enemy Ruhrecht over there and a Musashi that have all been held back by just one person going where their team isn't. That's some good advice. We should, we should tell people that. Go where your team isn't. Huh. Alright, let's cover these 406 millimeter guns. I don't know what sort of special sauce is in them. Some say it's just Thousand Island dressing with relish. But when they hit, they hit pretty hard. But I cannot wrap my head around their penetration. Many times I think, well, that's a citadel, and I just get pins. Then there are times I expect a bounce, and suddenly there is a giant chunk of health gone. I don't know. They, they aren't the most reliable, but they are definitely a threat to anyone who is not angling properly. And even if you do, well, then you've got this hailstorm of secondary showering you constantly as this Iowa is finding out. Look at these secondaries starting fires on him. That is two permanent fires so far, and pretty soon we're going to start a third. And hold on, do you see what I see? Okay, 
this guy wants to party and let's try and get this Iowa first there's our third fire and then let's get the shot out probably didn't need this may I take your trident sir yes and now we can turn our attention to Musashi oh boy somebody didn't get the memo that memo reads Musashi is not a brawling battleship. You have an exposed citadel, you're a giant target, and you have weak cheeks for slapping. And oh right, you're going up against a Ruprecht who has a cork on his fork, and you know why? So he doesn't hurt himself or others. Here comes a plane drop. Ruprecht! We have a guest. What do we do for guests? What did we do when Uncle Ted was here? Now, if the carrier had continued to focus me, this may have turned out very differently, but I guess they just wanted to remind me they were in the game by saying hi. But is this Musashi really crazy enough to try this? I put on my Hydro to keep them spotted. I think even to my long dead div mate I was saying, are you seeing this? Are they having a laugh? What is this player thinking? Uh, oh, hello Cleveland. Reflect? No. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a shot at that Cleveland so the Musashi player thinks I my guns are unloaded It is totally safe for them to approach. I'm watching their speed And I'm really just trying to make sure that I can get this cap done in time now Clearly the Musashi is loaded. They know I'm here. I know they're There man, but let's see what's gonna happen right here first They're gonna flub their shot and I will bounce it all Rupert, eat your applesauce Ruprecht? Ruprecht! Excuse me, may I go to the bathroom first? Of course you may. Thank you. <laughs> well... <laughs> That was a teachable moment, and I'm sure everyone over here has learned by the Musashi's example, right? Wait, what do we have here? Oh boy, yeah, we were just getting started, as it turns out. Now, I am far from 100% certain that I could pull off a crack in here just right now. We have a couple teammates on the edge of the island just south of me who cannot shoot this Ruprecht, or really the ships to the north of me too well. And then we have one battleship way to the south, which uh, I don't think they have a shot on anything. So I'm pretty much going to need to have everything go perfectly to pull this off and hope that our carrier themselves do not yoink any of these. But the first thing that we're going to need to do is this Ruprecht to keep coming this way. And it looks like they keep slowing down. You can see their uh, torpedo indicator, right? They've slowed down there, they're speeding up, but it looks like now they've committed, so we'll drop that one. And then we'll just do wide angle too. What's kind of surprising here is, I mean, they have Hydro on, right? Not mother. No, Ruprecht, she's not our mother. <laughs> so, I mean, they do have Hydro on, I'm spotted by it. So those torpedoes are definitely spotted. Um, I mean, maybe they don't have a prop mod? I don't know. Really? But there we go. There is our third ship sunk. Okay, okay. Now this is the sequence, right? This is definitely going to appear a little bit more on the yoinky side of things, but I truly don't care because my positioning is what got us here. Ruprecht, don't take the cork off the fork. Those shells look good leaving the barrel, but again, that's a salvo where I keep thinking, uh, those are probably gonna bounce, right? Uh, nope. He's very affectionate. There is our close quarters, and there is Kraken 427 in the Prince Ruprecht. All right, let's see the scoreboard. 2,987 base XP for just shy of a very good game, but we know secondaries give you reduced XP, so we will just call it a very good game, but a GG to everyone involved, except for that 369 base XP in a win. 
And that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you think 16 torpedoes on a battleship is about 8 too few, give this video a like. If you think the Musashi should have 100% torpedo reduction, give the video a dislike. Questions, comments, leave them down below. And if you want to be there to see whoever we have in here next, think about hitting subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. I will get back out there for another one. And we will talk then. Oh, He'll enjoy Oklahoma's wide open spaces. He loves to run and run and run.